This is where I need your help, Rangers. I ain't never paid to get in a rodeo before. Rules have changed, old man. Now that the right honorable enormous old biggin is in charge. I didn't vote for an enormous. <laughs> Voting. Now pay up. Six bullets per person. He I was said I'm voting. Listen here, girly. I don't have to. <laughs> Paid in full. Now who's next? Stop right there, strangers. If you want to get into Rhodia, jewel of the L.A. wetlands, and home of the world-famous Rhodia Towers, you gotta donate to the Rhodia Security Bullet Fund. Six bullets per person. This place was a real shithole till we brought our civilizing influence. Now it's a jewel. People yeah, come from yeah, miles around and see them towers. No idea why. They don't do anything. Even the old transmitter that turned them into radio towers don't work anymore. Good for hanging out the laundry, though, ain't it, boys? I'm done talking till you're done paying. We gotta keep the line moving. Now come on, six bullets per. Thank you, citizen. We'll put those bullets to good use. And listen, you all look like you know how to handle yourselves. If you're looking for work, see our boss, Enormous O'Biggin, or Lieutenant Dangler, his second in command. Always work for gunslingers around here. Rhodia takes a lot of protecting. Our boss lets his fists do the talking. He hits like a car wreck. You best stay on his good side. It don't work no more, and we don't want it fixed. Lieutenant Dangler says it rots the brain. He's little, but he's got a big brain. And that brain will fuck you up if you ain't careful. Have a nice day, citizen. That's just a sample of their perfidy. Wait till we get inside. Looks like it might have been a lovely town, once. General announcement, everybody. Just got a big order in from New Washington. Everybody will be working double shifts until it ships. Thanks.
not listen to Dugan, Monsignor. Do not let fear turn you into his slave. The future he envisions will never happen. And he will never rule it. For I and my children will burn his pathetic dreams to ashes in the blazing glory of our golden future. Dugan wants to enslave I want to save humanity. In my future, humans will be perfect beings. Immortal, invulnerable gods with gleaming metal skin. In Dugan's future, humanity will be fuel for his forges. Bring him no offerings, Los Angeles. Worship not at his altar. He is a false god, and I, Matthias, shall cast him down.
Hey now, May. You staying safe? Ah, the strangers I've been hearing so much about. Strangers? Can we eat the strangers, Dengi? No, you idiot. We'll not eat the strangers. Yet. Okay, Dengi. Possum is delicious. Did you know that, Dengi? You look smarter than your average jerk, and more ambitious than the townsfolk of Rodia. Those are qualities I could use. Unless, of course, you think what we're doing here is wrong. I meant no insult. I'm a jerk myself, a leather jerk, though I didn't start out that way. They captured me in the mountains of Glendale. They were going to skin me and eat me, I believe, but my will was greater than theirs. I talked them out of it, then led them out of the hills with promises of gold and women and leather jackets beyond their wildest dreams. <laughs> Since then, they've been mine to command. They are the sheep, and we are the wolves. It's the natural order of things. This town was as open as a hooker's legs before we saved it from the synths. All were welcome. Nobody was turned away. No tariff to get in. All the policies of that ridiculously idealistic mayor who believed that sharing Rodia's wondrous bounty would bring civilization back to Los Angeles. Absurd. Making people pay through the nose for Rodia's wondrous bounty will bring civilization back to Los Angeles. That's how the world works. It is a mistake to think that muscle alone wins in this world. Any one of my three best men, Biggin, the Greek, or Pat the Axe, could kill me with a pinch of their fingers. But, as the great warlord Gandhi once said, strength does not come from physical capacity, it comes from an indomitable will. I live that motto every day. I die if I forget it. No idea what their deal is, but I'm glad they were giving Rodia a hard time. It gave us the opportunity we were looking for. If you don't know enough to get out of the way of progress, progress will run you over. <laughs> or perhaps hang you from a tower for everyone to see what happens when you impede progress. Now he can see the casino I made of his tavern, the distillery I made of his backyard still, the money-making machine I made out of his bank. He oversees operations at the distillery. Fairly smart for a walking bicep, but a brutal man and his private life does not bear examining. All I care about is that he's steady and loyal and doesn't drink. And he can kill a dozen men without breaking a sweat. The axe may be dumber than Biggin, it's an open question, but he's a berserker in battle and easily kept in line with drink and whores. Just don't touch his axe. More precious to him than his manhood it would seem. People talk about the beauty of those towers. Uh, I don't see it. But they're very useful for making an example of someone. A hundred percent profit. It's not so much a casino as a green felt abattoir. And for those who like a different sort of game, there are hookers in the back. The opportunity with the most potential in this dreary little town, and its owner, the mayor and his lazy son, did nothing with it. I don't think they produced 20 barrels of booze in a year. 
I'm working on producing 20 barrels in a week. We'll be rich. Of course, it would be easier if I didn't have to deal with either of them. The intricacies of high finance are <laughs> no doubt beyond you, but I'm very pleased with what we've done with the bank. Mr. Gecko has been a helpful and judicious partner in this enterprise. Another profitable scheme. The townsfolk spend both bullets and seed on my harlots, leaving them weaker in spirit as well as defense. Cat litter? Oh, of course. You're impatient to get to Hollywood before the winter winds clear the radiation belt. Well, how you spend your free time is your concern, but we have no cat litter. You're welcome to what you find in town, but I don't know of any. Perhaps the ugly doctor. Spoken like a true pragmatist. Very good. Perhaps we can work together. So let's come to terms. I want your muscle and your brains. What do you want? Money? Power? Something else? Hmm. A dangerous thing for an underling to want. One always has to watch one's back around such men. Still, there's a lot of room for advancement here in Rodia before you start challenging me or Obigan. All right. Are you ready to work? A I potent like symbol of our strength day. and dominance. Hello, Fizz. As long as he talks with Hello, his fists big gun. and not his mouth. How are you today? You see what I mean? Right. Good. First assignment. Just to see how you do with simple instructions. We've convinced almost all the farmers to convert their fields to agave plants. But there are still a few holdouts. One is a woman named Jess who still wants to grow broccoli or some such garbage. This kind of uncivic behavior cannot be tolerated. I want you to sell these agave cuttings to Jess for 40 bullets and convince her to start planting by any means necessary. Then bring me back what she paid. And if you don't succeed, don't bother coming back. Do well with Jess. And I'll know you're ready for bigger things. Oh, what are you, you doing? Did you know if that you're working thingy? for that varmint, then I ain't working for you. I... I... Ah, strange. No. Okay. Big God is hungry. Cat litter? I meant no insult. They, this town was a... No idea what their deal is. It is a mistake to think that muff, if you don't know enough, he oversees all... The acts, maybe. People talk about the... A hundred... The opportunity with the... The intricate... Another profitable scheme. The town. Thanks for dropping in. Bye now. Thanks for dropping guys in. Guy's a master. Bye now. Always wanted to defeat one of them. Yes. Thanks for dropping in. Yes. I'm a very busy cat litter. Oh, of an idealist then. Well, that's too bad. I can't use idealists. This town was full of idealists, and look where it got them. Trying to live in peace and harmony? <laughs> they were asking for it. Oh well. If you give up on your ideals, come back and we'll talk again. Yes, I'm a very busy man, you know. Thanks for dropping in. Bye now. 
That little rat was an invited guest. Now he won't leave. So eager to die? Guards! Prepare to die! Whoa now, strangers. So eager to die? Guards! Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>
Copy, Ranger Demon. Echo One, looks like your team has earned a few field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you, strangers. Feels good to move around again. With Dingler out of the way, the rest of the leather jerks should leave town. I... I'm afraid I need a moment to collect myself. But if you come to my house later, I will thank you properly. Until then. Just wanted to let you know that I'm back in my office now, thanks to the Desert Rangers. And I'm gonna do my best to get old Rodia back on its feet. So if you've got any problems that need addressing, just stop on by. My door is always open. And, uh, thanks for sticking by me. Take care now. There you are, friends. I thank you and Rhodia thanks you. You have done us a great service. Also, now that the jerks are gone, there are several things we could use help with to get us back on our feet, if you were interested. Well, relations were severed with our best trading partner when the leather jerks took over. And we need to let that community know we're back in business. If in your travels you happen to visit Angel Oracle, I'd be grateful if you told their leader that the jerks are gone and Rhodia is ready to trade again. Be sure to talk to Mr. Manners, if he's still in charge. Well, thanks again. So many dead. What a pity. Welcome back, Mayor. We've missed you.
Hey folks, this is the mayor. Just wanted to let you know, Mrs. Willits over at Willits Farm has a surplus of beets and sweet potatoes, and she's willing to trade for roofing supplies and tar. Just see her at her place. She'll be in the shed.
made our towers a damn jet. First thing they did was break that radio. Anybody free, head on over there. He's paying in scrap and shots. 